Hello, everybody. Okay. I've had, I have played this song. I, I made this song called Hand in Hand, and it's in the key of D. But, you know, D, the bass string of D is the third string on the guitar. And there's two that are lower. I want to, you know, a lot of people will say, well, D is only one step below E. So they do what's called drop D and they will just detune the first string E down a whole note to, um, or whole step down to um, D. And they call that drop D. Well, I've been doing that, but then I don't really like the results because um, then like the other chords that go with D is A. That's okay. A can be done. But the other chord that goes with D is G. And of course, your fingering for G changes because of the drop D. So you have to do a, you have to have like, um, wide spider legs you know to to reach all the strings it's like it's next to impossible and I, i'm just tired of that so i am um, i'm doing what i'm calling drop e now this is using a capo and i put it on the second fret and i use it all the way up so I use it on from starting at string two, going all the way up. Oops, let's get a little buzz. So your drop D now is simulated, but it's in the key of E. It's actually a whole step higher. And, um, but it makes the D chord sound like a drop D. That's awesome. Now, what else is awesome is when you play a G configuration, you still get your normal G. Because you didn't um, put a capo on all three, and so therefore, Anything you play on the first string or the E string is going to be normal. So this is kind of interesting. So it's turned my song into an E, key of E, my hand-in-hand -hand song. I'm going to record that just following this video. <laughs> 